So, I'm going to invite you to take a comfortable seat on the floor, and I'm excited that you're all here. Um, and as you settle in, just starting to take a moment to focus on how your body feels and how your breath is moving through your body and thinking about how you want to feel when we're done with practice. And then once you have set your intention, I'm gonna, we're gonna start with the head. So I want you to just inhale with your chin up and exhale, bring your chin towards your chest and just continue that movement and notice how it feels in your neck as you do that. We're just trying to isolate the head and notice how that feels. And when you feel like you've done that enough, you're gonna pause with your head upright. And again, inhale center. Now you're gonna look over each shoulder. So inhaling center, look over the right. Inhale center, look over the left. And again, do that a few times until it feels Pretty complete and then the next movement we're gonna inhale up take your chin towards your chest and then at an angle bring your ear either side over towards the shoulder so now you're trying to get like the back side of the neck and just holding it for a breath or two on an inhale lifting up and then bringing your chin down and taking the second side and just getting that information, how is that neck doing? Good morning. And then again, coming back through the center, lifting up your head. And now I just want you to shrug your shoulders up. So inhale, bring them up. And then at first, just let them down, right? Up and down a couple of times. And then I want you to inhale up and roll them back. So again, just checking out that upper back body. After a few rolls, let's do one at a time. So inhale, take your shoulder up, round it back. And then we're going to go forward. Right? And when you're done with that, just pause for a moment. We're going to interlace the fingers, roll through your wrists a couple of times. And then bringing one hand forward, <clears throat> you're going to pull your hand towards your body. And just, of course, noticing. So your elbow's straight, and you're just pulling and noticing what's happening in your arm. Fingers down, and again, pull it, using the hand on the hand as opposed to pulling at your fingers. Still breathing, and then second side. Up and down with the hand. I'm like, oh, this is interesting. And then we're going to let that go. Shake them out a little bit. <clears throat> and then make sure that your legs are in a comfortable position. I want you to look towards your right hand and just start to inhale that hand up and take it as far back as you comfortably can go. And then exhale back to center, alternating sides. And so now, like checking out, you know, what's going on in your pecs and your underarm and your back body as you're moving through this arm. Eventually, we'll get to those other parts that people were interested in working on. And next time you finish your second side, you're going to pause for a moment and then bring your hands down onto your legs however you're sitting. And I want you to keep your butt on the floor, right? So see if you can feel your sits bones on the ground. You're gonna reach your chest forward. That's your inhale and then exhale, round the back. And see if you can round your whole back, like not just hunching at the shoulders, but seeing if you can move your whole spine with your breath. And again, looking for that information as you're moving. So funny, I was expecting nobody to get here because of the marathon and they're all just rolling in. Good morning. Okay, and with, again, when you start to feel done with that, 
pausing for a moment and starting to roll through your body. So again, your butt stays on the floor and you're making as big a movements as it feels good in your body. You're gonna pause, go the other direction. And you wanna make sure that you have tennis balls. So if you don't have some tennis balls, go ahead and grab them. So when you're done twirling, you're gonna pause for a moment, take those tennis balls so your butt stays on the ground. Most of you know this, because I love to do this, especially when we're doing hamstrings. And you're gonna press those tennis balls in, right? And then straighten out your legs a little bit. And then at first, you might pedal through your feet, you might point and flex your feet, you might roll your legs in and out. So I want you to explore a little bit and see what feels good. You also might consider moving your tennis balls in or out. And since we talked about butt cheeks, <laughs> when you're done, well, not all of you are here when we're talking about um, when you're done doing the front, right, and can you feel your hamstrings? Like I can feel my hamstrings bump over the tennis balls, right? When you're done, you're gonna take one and go right into the center of your glute. And then I like to use a little block under my elbow. And then use your feet and your foot and your leg to control how much pressure goes into that glute. And you can also, if that's too much, turning your body to the side. You can literally just go right in the center of your glute and lean your body over. And for some of you, that will be just fine, right? Yeah, this is where the sounds start to come out. Mm -hmm. And just getting that information, you know, what's going on. And I, I, I had to stop myself because and say, what's going on in your butt? And that didn't sound right. <laughs> like, no. Now, some things you might consider, right, if this is your backside, right, if you're in the center of your glute, think about bringing that tennis ball out in a diagonal up towards your hip. And then whenever you feel done on that side, we're gonna to switch to the second side. But if you feel like you need a little bit more on that side, feel free to stay there a little bit longer. Hello. And it's always interesting how different, at least for me, how different it is side to side. Keep breathing. Oxygen to the area is very good. <laughs> now, again, you can stay here a little bit longer. We're going to do one more with the lower part of the body and the tennis balls. And so just sitting up, placing those tennis balls behind pelvis, your low back, and then you can have your elbows bent, you can be down on your elbows, whatever feels good in the back, and then moving your knees and your hips side to side, and again, continuing to breathe. And it's okay to deviate from what I say, too, if your body is like, how about trying here? Like, go ahead and do that. Now, from here, whenever you start to feel done with the tennis balls, we're actually going to start down on our back body with the knees bent. And we're going to go through, it's a it's multi-step uh, pose of vinyasa. And so <clears throat> you're going to start by having your feet on the ground about hip distance apart, arms down at your sides. And, and you might start off not going to your deepest place, right? We're going to inhale, take the hips and the chest up, arms up overhead. Exhale, take those hips down and then bring your knees towards your chest. Grab onto those knees with your hands. Inhale, arms overhead, legs up towards the sky. Exhale, knees into the chest again. 
Inhale, you're going to take those feet down, lift up the hips and the chest, take the arms overhead. So that's the whole thing. We're going to do that a couple of times. Knees towards the chest on the exhale. Arms and legs extended on the inhale. Exhale, knees to the chest. Inhale, feet down, hips and chest lift, arms up overhead. Exhale, hips down, knees to the chest. Inhale, arms overhead, legs up towards the sky. And last time, exhale those knees into the chest. And then you can move side to side or take your knees in a circular motion, kind of relaxing those, your low back towards the ground. You get like a little massage, the floor against your low back. Now from here, we're gonna stretch those legs up towards the sky and then take your arms parallel to your legs. This is always fun. I want you to wiggle your left toes and your right fingers, okay? So on the inhale, you're gonna take your left leg down and your right leg down overhead. So take one leg, one arm down, opposite arm and leg. Exhale, come back together, and then do the other side. It's a little bit of a brain game. You know I don't do that. <laughs> And you can also, if, it's, if, it, if it doesn't feel good, you can do this with bent knees. And then whenever you finish your second side, one more time, we're going to bend the knees, take them in towards the chest, roll around or just squeeze onto them and then carefully bring your feet to the floor one at a time. Let's extend those arms out to the sides. Inhale is going to be head and knees to the center. Exhale, knees one direction, head to the other. Inhale, back to center. And then second side. If you want to add more intensity, you could lift your feet up off the floor. If you want to focus more on stretching the back, keep those feet on the floor. Next time you finish that second side, we're gonna roll over to a side and come on up. And from here, hello, we're going to um, come onto our hands and knees. So if you'd like a little padding under your knees, go ahead and Place your blanket under your knees. And then in your tabletop, I'll give y'all a second to get there. I want you to walk your hands a little bit in front of your shoulders, like maybe, I don't know, four or six inches or so. And then inhale, we're gonna take the hips towards the ground, open up the chest, soften those shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, we're gonna move towards puppy pose, so forehead on the ground, butt up in the air. If you prefer, you can do tabletop to child's pose. But you get a little bit of a different stretch moving in this way. And moving with your breath so there's no rush. Now, next time you are in puppy pose, we're going to walk those hands in and bring ourselves into a child's pose. And then wrap those hands around your legs and soften your head towards the floor or onto a block. Kind of wrapping your arms around your legs, taking a couple of breaths here. Then I want you to explore turning your head. So you'll lift your head off the ground a little bit, turn it to one side, come back to the center and then do the second side. Now, after you've turned your head a few times, you're going to interlace your fingers at your low back, or you're gonna grab onto a strap. So if your arms don't move when your hands are with interlaced at your back, I invite you to use a strap, okay? And so then what I want you to do is just relax through the body, extend your arms up towards the sky on the inhale, exhale, bring them back down to the low back. So just moving with the arms. And again, if your arms don't move away from your back, please use a strap, right? 
If your knees are poking into the ground and that doesn't feel good, grab a blanket. We have lots of props here. Now, next time your arms come up, I want you to think about this carefully. If it sounds good and you don't have any neck injuries, I want you to roll up onto the top of your head, take your butt off your heels, and extend your arms just slightly more. Keep breathing. If you have any neck injuries or it doesn't feel good, continue to stay with your forehead on the ground and arms extended. And then we're gonna exhale those hands down to the low pack, drop down your strap if you're using one, come up onto those hands and knees. Take a breath, how's it breathing? Good. All right, we're gonna extend that right leg behind us, turn your toes under, reach your heel towards the ground. <coughs> So I like to push away with my hands while I'm doing this and reach towards the ground with the heel. So just kind of exploring, seeing what feels good. In the next breath or so, we'll take that knee to the ground, take the second side. And again, still breathing, noticing what you feel. as you start to feel complete, taking that knee down. Now, I want you to explore your balance a little bit. We're gonna take up the left arm and the right leg, and your vision stays towards the ground, so your head stays in line with your body. And you're just kind of noticing how is your balance here and what helps you to be engaged, right? On an exhale, let's take that hand and knee down towards the ground. We're gonna do the second side. And again, as you extend that arm and the leg, your vision towards the ground, what helps you to stay there? How does it feel? And again, on an exhale, hand and knee come down towards the ground. We're gonna go back to the first side. So left arm, right leg, inhale up, exhale down towards child's pose. Inhale, opposite sides, and exhale down to child's pose. And if it doesn't work using the leg and the arm, you can do the legs or the arms, finding movement that works for you, inhaling up, exhaling down. Now next time you finish that second side, we're gonna come up, we're gonna take the left arm and the right leg, you're gonna bend that back leg, reach back for it with your hand, you may or may not reach it, and then press your foot up towards the sky. Keep breathing. When you feel complete, releasing, coming down to the ground and then into child's pose. On the inhale, we'll take the second side, extending the right arm and the left leg, reaching for your foot or your ankle, pressing that foot up towards the sky. Continuing to breathe. As you feel complete, releasing, hand and knee to the ground. Child's pose. Pause for a moment. And then that's our focus right now, so take a break when you need it. And then when you're ready, come on up. It's hot in here. I don't know if it's all of you or if it's the room. From here, let's come all the way up to standing. All right, so once you're standing, let's find a tennis ball. Roll for a moment. How is your breath? How is your body temperature? How's your heart rate? Yeah, get all your stuff. <laughs> Switch speed, maybe switching now. All right. So, you want to do some bigger movements now? <laughs> no comments. They're like, no, no. 
Make your way, once you're done with those tennis balls, set them off to the side, make your way towards the front of your mat, and just feeling your feet on the floor for a minute. What I want you to do, see if you can keep the padded part under your toes up, lift up your toes and spread them out. <coughs> keep breathing. And we're gonna take big toes down, little toes up. Little toes down, big toes up. Just kind of alternate a little bit. Your toes may or may not listen to you. <laughs> then we're gonna keep, keep the big toes down, little toes up, and try to get your pinky toes to the ground. Keeping the three up in the middle. Keep breathing. Let them go, shake them out. <laughs> big knee someday. <laughs> All right, so hands at your sides. We're gonna inhale up, and I want you to just start to move with your breath and you come up onto the toes. You can keep the feet flat. Bring those arms up to whatever level feels good. Now one of these times when your arms come down, we're gonna take the arms to the back and try not to let your body fall forward. We're gonna press behind us. Again, coming up onto the toes if that feels safe and good. Step back, actually, let's, let's take the hands onto the thighs first. Inhale up, exhale halfway down. And then inhale up and then come all the way down. And then inhale halfway up and all the way down. And then inhale all the way up. All right. So let's bring those hands to the heart center. And you can either slide your hands down your legs or lift them up towards the sky, whatever feels good today. We're going to inhale up, exhale into your forward bend. Take those hands onto your legs, inhale halfway up, exhale in towards your legs. Then we're going to take that right foot back into a lunge. You can use blocks here under your hands if you'd like. And then I want you to feel your feet on the ground about hip width apart, legs distance apart, engage isometrically with your feet, bring those hands up onto your thigh. And then if it, whoo, if it feels good, reach those arms up towards the sky. Now from here, we're gonna come into a three-legged down <coughs> which means as you exhale, bring your hands towards the ground and then take that front foot up towards the sky. So on the exhale, hands come down, reach that leg up. And then on the inhale, you're gonna come into a plank and bring that knee towards your elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, come in. One more time. And then we're gonna place that foot on the ground. We're gonna take that right foot and step it forward into our lunge. And again, feet hip width apart, legs distance, engage isometrically, hands onto the thigh, breathe, take those arms up. How's it feeling? On an exhale, whenever you're ready, hands to the ground, front leg up towards the sky, three legs down dog. Inhale is here, exhale, knee towards the elbow. Just moving at your own pace with your breath, modifying however it works for your body. And next time we're gonna take that foot towards the ground. Now we're in our down dog and you can come down to tabletop and do tabletop to child's pose. Or you can come forward into plank, up dog, and back to down dog. You can also alternate between those two sets of positions, moving with your breath and finding those movements that feel good for you. Now, whatever you're choosing to do, eventually we're gonna end up in a forward bend. So from down dog, you can hop or walk forward, child's pose, just step those feet forward into your forward bend holding on to your elbows, 
and gently moving your body side to side. Still breathing. It's a moment to check in. Bringing those hands onto your legs. Inhaling, sliding up. Making sure you're not too dizzy. And then once you're up, rolling through your shoulders. How is your body doing today? Thought we'd do a little eagle pose today, Garudasana. And so options, right? We all have different things happening in our body. You could start out with cactus arms, do elbow, forearms, palms, and then lift those elbows up off your chest. You could also do right arm to center, left elbow over top, backs of the hands or palms together, and lift them up. So you choose how you want your arms to be. Take a moment to send your breath into that upper back body. And then you're gonna sit back like you're sitting into a chair. And today, let's use the left leg to cross over. So you're gonna keep that right leg bent, cross over, foot goes on the ground, up in the air, or wraps around your calf. Breathe and focus. When you're ready to come out on an inhale, we're gonna release. Before we move on to the second side, I just want you to step your feet apart a little bit, like with hip width apart, and just gently move side to side with your breath. Now, as you start to feel ready to do the second side, we'll start in our cactus arms. And again, either elbows, forearms, palms, or left elbow to center, right elbow over top, backs of the hands or palms together, lift them up off the chest. Take a moment to breathe into your upper back body. Then whenever you're ready, sitting back, find your balance. Left leg stays bent, right leg crosses over, foot on the ground, lifted or wrapped around your calf. Breathe. So the idea is we come into a place of comfort and ease in every pose, right? So can you find that place here? On an inhale, we're gonna release. <sighs> Yay! And this time I want you to take your feet a little bit wider and just a nice little gentle swing. You can come up onto your toes, you can bend your knees, whatever feels good. That was awesome. And again, we're gonna to come to a place where we stop. Does everybody have a strap, maybe? I'll give you a variation if, if you don't have a strap. Uh, or you can all go get them. <laughs> Gives everybody else a little break, too. Okay. So, once you're ready, and this would be a time, if you want to, you can find a wall or use the bar in the back of the room. If you're at home, you can use a chair or a couch. It's totally okay. Um, but you can, it's okay to hold on to something, okay? So we're gonna start with that strap on the padded part of the right foot. And then you're gonna walk that leg up, maybe to hip height or wherever it comes to, and then walk your hand down the strap so your elbows is, are straight. The left arm is for balance, so it's wherever it works for you. And then you're gonna explore slowly opening that leg out to the side. Breathe and focus. It's helpful to have a non-moving spot to look at down on the floor. We're gonna come back to the center. Do we wanna switch sides? Yeah, switch hands and bring that leg across your body. Nice, come back to the center, foot comes down. Before you do the second side, everybody take a nice big breath. You're gonna take your hands onto your legs. Soft knees, inhale up. Exhale, slide forward. Inhale, slide on up. And then we'll do that second side. So again, pat the Strap on the padded part of your foot, walk that leg up, walk your hand down the strap. Use that right arm to help you balance, breathe and focus. 
and then slowly start to open that leg out to the side. Keep breathing. When you're ready, we're gonna bring that leg back to center, switch hands, and then start to bring that leg across your body. Very nice. Again, as you start to feel done, back to the center, foot comes down, you can take, don't throw your strap away because we're gonna use it in a second. Take your hands onto your legs and slowly exhale as you slide down. Some of you might wanna stay down here for a second. Some of you might wanna move up and down a couple of times. So ask your body what would feel really good right now. make our way back up and we're going to take that strap behind you and let's have it so that when your arms are extended the strap is tight but not so tight that you couldn't move it right? <coughs> and then we're gonna bring one arm forward and one arm back and then alternate sides Still breathing. Nice. Next time you finish that second side, we're going to bring the strap in front. And you might want to fold it over if you have a long one like I do up here right now. And we're going to hold it between our hands. And then just a little tug on it. Right? And I want you to notice when you tug, where do you feel that tug? You know, obviously, probably in your upper body and your arms, you feel it in your core at all. And then what I want you to do is find your weight on your right foot. We're going to take that left leg forward, pull on the strap if you lose your balance. And then you're going to sweep it back and let the, the leg guide your body forward. Keep breathing. Inhale, come on up. Relax those arms. Breathe. <laughs> and then second side. So the strap is to help us engage our core. So that can help with our balance. And sometimes it takes a little while for your body to get used to that idea. Right? So we're going to start in front again. Gentle tug. Weight on your left foot. Right leg comes forward. Find your balance and your focus. Keep breathing. And then whenever you're ready, start to sweep that leg back. And it's okay if that standing leg bends. Your head follows your body. On an inhale, come on up. Relax those arms. Roll them, shake them out. Your arm feels good. We're going to do it one more time. So <coughs> strap out the front, gentle tug, weight in the right foot. Go oh, left foot. I'm all confused right now. Thank right. you. Left leg forward, and then sweeping it back, letting your leg guide your body. Breathe, on an inhale, come on up, relax those arms for a moment, lift the arms up, gentle tug, weight in the left foot, right foot forward, and again, let your leg be your guide, keep breathing, on an inhale whenever you're ready, come on up. And then from here, we're going to set the strap aside. Before we move on to our next thing, just your arms are down at your side. We're going to inhale, arms up, exhale into a little chair. If it doesn't feel good to move your arms, you can keep them on your thighs. We've done a lot of work with the arms, so your arms might want a little break. Okay, one more time. Now this next one, you might want to find a little wall, put your butt against it, or you might want to stay in the center of the room. We're going to reach for your left foot, okay? And so your foot stays flexed, your knee is bent, right? And you're gonna work that leg up towards your body, right, in whatever way feels comfortable. Now, from here, step away from the wall. You're going to place that 
ankle over your knee and start to sit down on a little bit. And breathe and focus, right? You could have your hands on the wall, you could have your butt on the wall, you could be in the center of the room. Keep breathing. Now, whenever you're ready, you're gonna come on up, uncross that leg, take a breath, and then we're gonna lift up your second leg. So the right leg, this time the foot's flexed to help protect that ankle, bring that leg up towards your body. And you're exploring, like, how does this leg work and want to move? Does it want to move? <laughs> and then you're going to bring it over the top of the knee and start to sit down. Breathe and focus. And again, as you start to feel down, this time we're going to uncross. Take your hands onto your legs and slide right into your forward bend. And then from here, bend your knees however much you need to or put some blocks underneath your hands. You're going to separate your feet a little bit wider than your hips, keeping those elbows straight. Inhale, body up, exhale, bend, ankles, knees, and hips. Here, whenever you're ready, you're going to make your way all the way down into a squat. And so you can have a blanket under your heels, a block under your butt. Um, you can sit on the floor if this doesn't work for your knees. Right? And then hands to the forehead or the heart center. Now possibly you might want to explore stretching your shoulders in a different way. Taking your arms, you're gonna have your tricep come to your shins and then start to wrap your hands around your lower legs and bring your chin towards your chest. Some of you might, you know, even be fancy and connect your fingers behind your ankles, but I'm not going there today. And then as you start to feel complete, Undoing those arms, bringing your bottom down to the ground and stretching out the legs. All right, from here, we're going to have your hands on your legs at first and your body's upright. And if you find yourself kind of falling back, sit, sit, stick a blanket under your sit bones. We're gonna inhale up, exhale, slide down. So just like we did standing up, but now around as we do this. Now one of these times, as you come maybe towards the left, you're going to bring that right arm up overhead and reach towards your hand. And this time, you're going to hold for a breath or two, unless it feels better to move in your body, always checking in with yourself. On one of these inhales, we're going to slide up, take that right hand onto your leg, lift that left arm up and come over to the right side. Still breathing. On an inhale, coming on up. We're going to, um, from here, take your hands in front and walk your fingers forward. So notice as you're doing this, where you feel it in your body, right? Is it in the groin, is it in your back, is it in your shoulders? Try to keep your head in line with your body. Keep breathing. And then when you're ready, walking those hands up, we're gonna bring in the left foot towards your inner thigh. If that knee is floating up in the air, stick a blanket or a block underneath it. And then here, we're gonna take that right hand behind you, reach up with your left hand. Nice big inhale, and then as you exhale, you're gonna come down towards the outside of your leg or foot, wherever that hand comes to. And then you're gonna use that right hand to start to open up your chest. So I'm pushing my right hand into the ground and pivoting my chest to the right. Keep breathing. On an 
inhale, I'm going to unwind and then take both hands onto your leg or foot and come with the forward of your body, your chest and your belly towards that leg. On an inhale, slide on up. For this next piece, I like a blanket underneath me and I like it in the longer version. So if you or someone who likes a blanket under your knees, you can set that underneath you. Because what we're gonna do from here, you're gonna take that right leg and you're gonna sweep it behind you, bring your left knee over a little bit, and now we're in a pigeon prep with your knee off the ground. Your back knee, not your front knee. <laughs> okay, now from here, I want you to contemplate the possibility of lifting your hands to your heart center. Deep breathing. They may or not, they may or they may not disconnect, right? It's you're exploring. Whenever you're ready, you're gonna bring those hands down to the ground, then bring your hands or your elbows to the inside of that knee and come down towards the ground. And with that back knee off the ground, I want you to imagine that you're reaching your right heel towards the ground, right? So just noticing what's happening in the front of your hip flexor. Very gently placing that right knee on the ground, bringing your hands onto the ground and your body up. We're gonna bend that back knee. This is where having a blanket underneath really helps. Both hands to the inside of your left knee, maybe reaching back with your right hand and pulling that foot in a little bit more. So right knees behind me, left knees in front, flat on the ground. Remember comfort and ease. You can breathe easily in the pose. When you start to feel complete, you're gonna let go of that foot, bring your hip down to the ground and we're gonna sweep that right leg around. Now, the left leg, we're gonna have that parallel to our body. And just like we did standing up, I want you to flex that right foot and hold on to the foot and the knee and bring it across your body like you're stacking logs, right? And some of your hips or knees or ankles aren't gonna work like this, so an option would be to have that bottom leg straight Right? And you're going to have one hand on the top of the knee, one hand on the bottom of the foot, press in towards the center. Inhale, body up. Exhale, over your leg. <laughs> Keep breathing. Someone said hips today. Now on and inhale. Come on up. And you're going to take, we're going to take this top foot and you're either going to go to your shin or over the knee. Right hand behind you. So if your right knee is in front, your right hand is behind you. Inhale that left arm up. Exhale, hand to your knee or over the elbow. We're going to twist to the right. Keep breathing. On and in. Exhale, come forward, extending both of your legs. You can shake them out, you can punch them a little bit. You can inhale, body up, exhale forward. Just kind of like what would feel really good in my legs and body right now. And then when you're ready, opening those legs out to the sides. We're gonna bring in the right foot this time. And again, if that knee is up in the air, placing a block or a blanket underneath it. Left hand behind you, pressing into the floor. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, come to the outside line of your leg. And then using that left hand to help you extend your spine and twist to the left. Keep breathing. On an inhale, rising up, exhaling, turning towards your leg, and then taking both hands on your leg or your foot and bringing your chest and your head towards your leg. On an inhale,
inhale, sliding on up. And this is where we're going to sweep that left leg behind us and bring your right leg over, coming into a modified pigeon prep. And again, keeping that back knee off of the ground, reaching your heel behind you. And then this is where we're going to explore the possibility of taking our hands off of the floor. And like, what do I need to use in my body to have that happen? Can I get one hand off? Can I, get both? Can I just get my fingertips off? And then whenever you feel ready, you're gonna bring your hands down to the inside of your knee, onto your elbows, or your hands, or bending the elbows. And again, keeping that back knee off the ground, reaching your heel behind you. And in your own time, place, gently placing that knee on the ground, walking your hands in, bending that back knee. And again, some of you may reach back with your left hand and bring that foot in, not forcing anything. Still breathing. I think it's time for shots. And then we're going to gently release. Bring your hip down to the ground. Right leg parallel to your body. Reach for that flexed left ankle and knee. And you might Hug them for a minute, you might rock side to side or stack them up like logs. Remember, another option would be to have that bottom leg straight, hand pressing on the bottom of the foot and the knee, and then in your own time, coming forward over your legs. Still breathing. On an inhale, we're going to come on up, and that left foot is either going to go in front of your shin or over your knee. Left hand behind you, inhale that right arm up, and exhale, hand in front of the knee or a knee <laughs> or lower around the knee. And then gently twisting to the left, still breathing. come forward and stretch out those legs and again you can rub them, punch them, shake them, do a forward bend or two. And then from here I would like to do a, I think a, a little chest opener would be nice and so um, I'm going to show you a couple of different options. So if you have a bolster, you can elevate your bolster. On a block, and at like the second level, about two thirds of the way up, and just lay down with your butt on the ground. Okay, that's one option. Another option is to use two blocks. This one's a little bit more intense. You have the back block back block higher than the front block. And if you're here, then the bottom block goes to the base of your ribs, and then your head goes on the block. You can also put a blanket over the two blocks. So these are all modified fish poses, right? The main thing is you want to feel comfortable, right? So get yourself set up in a position, And you might close your eyes. You might start to notice your breath. Seeing if you can let your shoulders be heavy. Your legs, your arms, your hips, your head. And then just 
inviting your heart center, your chest to soften. Finding a comfortable place for your arms is really important. So if your elbows reach the floor, that might work, or your hands on your body. Some of you may choose to stay here a little bit longer. Some of you may like to do some movements through your arms. And some of you might be ready to, you know, just set up for Shavasana, so check in. your body need anything else? And then in your own time, getting yourself set up for Shavasana. And of course the key to Shavasana is being as comfortable as you can be, right? So warm, supportive.
is starting to make slow, gentle movements, eventually bringing yourself up to a comfortable seated position, not rushing, taking your time, moving however you're called to move. Sometimes it's nice to like bend your knees and roll over to the side for a couple breaths or stretch your arms overhead. I'd like to do is also a focus practice. So I want you to just slide your th thumb up your index finger as you inhale and exhale, slide it down, and then go through all of your fingers. So inhale up the finger, exhale down. And if it feels good just to stay on one finger, you could do that as well. And just synchronizing your breaths, the inhale sliding up, exhale sliding down. Honor yourself, like that you showed up and did the practice today. Because it, I know it takes a lot to get here sometimes, especially today maybe. And once you are complete with your niyasa, the touching your fingers with your thumb, bring the hands to your heart center if you choose. And if you want to join me in some sounds, we'll inhale and reach those arms up towards the sky. Exhale the sound hue to the heart. Hue. Hue. 